Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ableton Certified DubSpot Los Angeles instructor, Thavius Beck, back with a brand new tutorial that should help you breathe some new life into some of your loops. I'm calling this technique that I'm about to show you Quick Glitch because we can quickly turn any sort of rhythmic loop into something that sounds a bit more glitch-based while still maintaining the rhythm of the original loop. It's a very cool technique and again, very quick to implement. So let's check it out. Today I'd like to share with you a little technique that I've affectionately called Quick Glitch. This will allow us to take any piece of rhythmic material, maintain the rhythmic content of that material, but completely change the way that it sounds as it plays back. Ultimately, this will work best with something that is very rhythmic. So I'm gonna use a drum loop here. And after we slice this to a new MIDI track, we'll be able to quickly, very easily mangle this, change the sonic characteristics of the sound while still maintaining the same rhythmic content. So first off, let's look at what we have here. All right, I have a drum loop. Uh, it's already been warped, and this has the rhythmic content that I want to maintain. The feel of the beat uh, is basically what I want to keep, but I don't want it to just sound like a regular break beat that's been sampled from a record. So let's listen to how it sounds right now. Okay, so I like the swing of the beat. I, like, I just like the rhythm overall. But again, it sounds too much just like a basic sample and loop taken from any record or you know sample library. So what I want to do instead is I want to take this and slice it to a new MIDI track. Uh, by doing that, Ableton Live will take this piece of audio and slice it based on a certain setting that I choose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the transient markers, these little transient markers here. Once you enable the warp function on an audio clip, uh, Ableton Live automatically places these transient markers wherever it thinks there's a very quick attack, a very quick volume onset, basically. You can see right here, it's very quiet, and then suddenly the volume spikes, and it puts a transient marker there. And generally, these transient markers will fall on our kicks, snares, and hi-hats if we're dealing with a drum loop, okay? So I'm going to use that to my advantage. However, there's a few extra transient markers here that I don't necessarily want because they're not landing directly on a kick or a snare or a hi-hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some of the transients I don't need first. I can do this very easily by simply clicking on a transient. You can see it's black. If I hit delete, it will disappear. Okay, that's one way I can do it. Another way I can do it, there's three transient markers here and I don't want any of these. So I'm gonna highlight this range of time. And in an audio clip, you can't delete the audio content. So all this will do is delete the transient markers. So far, so good. Here's one here I don't need. We'll get rid of you. I'll get rid of you. Get rid of this one and that one and this one and that one. All right. So now I only have the transients that I want. I think that's a hi-hat, so I'll leave that there. All right. So, so far, so good. Next step, we want to slice this to a new MIDI track and slice it using... Well, first, let's go to slice to new MIDI track here. And we're going to create one slice per transient because we use the transient markers, all right? This is gonna help us maintain the rhythm of the drum beat. And we're gonna slice this to the built-in preset, all right? That'll take the audio and put the slices inside of a drum rack. This is very important because this particular built-in preset has the settings that we need in order to make this quick glitch happen. So let's hit okay. So now I've got the drum beat here, all right? Those slices that were taken from the original piece of audio have been placed inside of a MIDI clip. I can see all the slices here inside of my drum rack instrument. Now, what's really cool is over here, we can see we have some things that are already mapped to the macro knobs. And these bottom four are the ones that I'm most concerned with. These will actually uh, change the loop length and the loop start of each individual slice. And this is where things get pretty interesting. So let's first hear the sliced content. Okay, so we can pretty much see we basically got all the kicks and snares. We still have the same basic rhythm there. But like I said, I want to be able to really change how this sounds. So what I want to do is I'll start messing with the loop settings here. Well, let me go ahead and show you one of these slices inside of the simpler instrument. All of these slices are now inside of a simpler. So you can just see what's happening, all right? This will affect the loop length and the loop start of all the slices at the same time. So the first thing I want to do we're gonna go ahead and adjust this loop length knob. And when I do that, it turns the loop on. And then you can see it starts to make a very small loop and then it gets a bit bigger, all right? So I'm gonna play the beat. And as I'm playing the beat, I'll start to adjust the loop length as well as the loop compress, all right? So we can play with this, turn the loop on and adjust the loop length as this is playing. So check it out and you'll hear how it changes the nature of this beat. So 
you can see as I'm adjusting this loop compress knob, as I give this a lower percentage, it's gonna make the loop shorter from the beginning of the loop point, okay? If we zoom in here, loop compress at 100%, it's basically gonna loop the end here. But as I move this closer, it moves the loop closer to the beginning of the start point. All right, and then you can see as I'm adjusting the loop length, that's actually adjusting the loop length itself, okay? So I can make it so that this loops closer to the beginning of the drum hits. So I'll just get the initial attack and then a very, very quick loop. Okay, and then I can adjust uh, how tiny the loop actually is with this loop link knob here. So very quickly, we've been able to take that drum break and make it sound completely different, all right? And if we play them both together, they both still have the same rhythm. Now, another nice thing we can do, since this has been sliced into the uh, built-in preset, we can also play with the ADSR settings, our attack, decay, sustain, and release. And if we bring the sustain level all the way down to minus infinity dB, each slice will only play for the length of time that the decay knob is set to. So, for example, let's go ahead and play this again. So there you go. We've very quickly taken this little drum loop here. Uh, we were able to maintain the rhythmic content of it by slicing it using the transient markers. We learned how to delete unnecessary transient markers from there. Once we slice it to the built-in preset, we simply have to start manipulating the loop length and the loop compression knobs. Uh, and that way we can turn our slices into very small loops, but still maintain the same rhythmic content from the initial drum loop. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the quick glitch technique. Uh, and have fun utilizing it in your productions. This is Thavius Beck, signing off. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.